it's me. It's me, the... The Ryan of Immaterial Gamers. Hi. It's a Friday. It's not. This isn't... This isn't Saturday. Role-playing, not in my games. Yeah, that's right, Mother Hubbard. It's, uh... It's the, uh, the Not Him Again Christmas Takeover. Every morning I feel like it, that's, that from now until the New Year, that's not uh, Christmas Day and New Year's Day, I'm going to be blasting through Chained Heroes. My RPG of choice. So, uh, where were we last time? Oh yes, we were trying to cross a blockade uh, on our map up here on the top right uh, just over over there uh, but to cross the blockade we needed a, like a, a pass a transit pass um, which was authorized from the man in this in this villa who's got very rich off selling passes 400 arc apiece but people said that his passes were fake they were bad passes so you go over to the, uh, we went over to the blockade, and we found that, well, a guy who was a reformed pirate, or like bandit, <laughs> hi seagull, um, said that the passes were fakes and he wanted us to check, he, he checked them with us, oh, hi, hi old man, can you help me? Uh, no, we were only, only passing through. Um, yeah. Turns out the guy... Oh, he... I'll remember this time. To the east is the city of Farnsport. When you follow the coastline from there, you'll reach the Terminator Caves. Just before that, there's a huge tree in a pool of water. You can swim into the tree from behind and reach a secret cave. And he's just lambasted me for asking for the secret again. Yeah, so he speaks to this guy, he checks the passes and he says, yeah, they're fake. Try him at the border if you want. So we tried him at the border and he said, like, yeah, they're fake. So we went to confront the guy who's turned around and said, no, they were real. Wait, who did you pass them to? And it's like, uh, uh, we passed him to this, this guy. He said he wanted to check him because they'd be fake. It's like, you fool. You've just been taking the real ones and giving you the fake ones. Oh, also, last week we had a fight with a carrot. It didn't go well. Right, so if I remember from last week, though, he said it ran off towards the beach. So it's probably safe for us to head back to the beach. Well, yeah, given the quest is telling us to uh, search around this area. Spores. Right, what should we do? These are uh, the pigs are weak to fire. And the sloths is weak to water, so um, that's not going to be great. I think we're going to start with a poetic march though, so just to get everything going. And I am just realised I am un I am hovering over the uh, my f head is over the ultra move button. We probably want to move that there, the bar. Game focus on the game, right? Okay. So, I think it might be worth getting rid of. I'm gonna get rid of these pig ears first. Hey, into overdrive. Let's go. Let's just uh, attack the pig ear and keep things going. Get the wide swing going. Sorted. Hey, we've got a pom pom if we win. Oh, that's a no. Not with your fire tail. Right, let's. Oh, okay. Kind of need to keep the umbrella going, actually. Wow. Okay, right, we're sorted. It's just the sploss now. Or sloss even. Why do I keep calling it sploss? 
to slot. Uh, we do at some point need to, um, need to kill a slot with poison damage. So, we might. Uh oh, we're in overheat. I wasn't watching. It's a shame. I think we'll be fine. There's a poison shot. Yes, I know, game, we're in overheat. Ah, oh, we're in overheat. Let's see if we can do this. I mean, how much health has it got left? If I attack it, will it kill it? Nope. Alright. No. Help in hand yourself, Killian. Ah. Oh. I think we should be... Oh, we should be good if we just... Just defend. Which puts us back into overdrive anyway, so... There we are. We've got a flask of slime, and we killed a slot by poison. Right, Jan. Yeah. All right. What's come on then? What's what's happening? Okay. Can you? You know what? Let's hear him out. Okay, so Becca's passports are real. We pretty much fought that. We don't make the passports himself either. Oh. Wait. So Becca's stealing them from people and then selling them. So he's he's right, he's not selling fakes. He's selling selling stolen passports. Did he offer you a map with a supposed list? Yes he did. Ah Oh Right, so in that case, Jan was stealing them and switching them for fakes to stop people from getting kidnapped from... Ah. Passport's not much use. I can see blood on some of your passports. Ah. Okay. There's a path that this band of robbers used to bring the stolen items down from the mountains to him. You have your reasons. Oh. Uh, should we check on him? No, we're gonna go and check on. We're gonna go and check on Jan. You see, my thing is, I keep trying to auto heal, and I, I forget that the game, uh, the game auto saves, or auto saves, and you can save manually anywhere, but you regain your TP and your HP after every fight. Uh, what I want to look at is the reward board. Here we are. So we killed a slot by poison. So here's some iron ore. And 5 SP each. Yeah! Oh, we still need to find a collectible. We, get some, we can get some sterile mucus, because, you know, that's 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 the rage these days. It's just sterile mucus. Uh, we still need to defeat a sloss now, but that's easy enough, and we can, once we do that, and we get the... Well, once we defeat the sloss, we actually increase our chain. So... You know, there's a lot that we can do, and a lot of this we can just do uh, organically. And then things like the crabs that have to do be defeated by Glen alone. Uh, 
which we can't really do at the moment. Glenn's not, unless we're sitting there and taking ages to, to do it, you know. It's just gonna be, it's gonna take too long. But we can always come back with some upgraded items and stuff like that and just, you know, absolutely give him a new plan. You know what I mean. It's too many seasons. It's the morning. It's a Friday morning. Lions don't exist. Well, that being said, there almost wasn't a stream today. If anyone comes in and sees this or watches on a VOD, those of a nervous disposition or don't like talk about the red stuff need not apply. Uh, just m minding my own business, setting stuff up this morning, and my nose bled like a tap. It was fun. It's all fine now, but if, uh, if, if, if it starts to go red again uh, and anyone's watching, let me know. I mean, I'll probably feel it, but, you know. Oh, I'm not keeping an eye on my overheat bar. Again. Really got to be careful with that. I mean, we'll find this fight. But I've got to be... I've got to be ready for that, and that's why... And to be honest, that's why the overlay's not exactly the best. Oh, I got an achievement. I didn't see it, but I got an achievement. Right. Oh no, I'll have to load the game pass window and I don't want to do that. Right, so we need to find Jan's house again, which is up here. There it is. Jan? Marissa? Oh dear. It's a soldier. Oh, his kid's there. Alright. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Yeah, what, what's going on? Yeah, what's the soldier doing there? Eh? Oh. Right, okay. This is starting to get, you know, more complicated but resolved. Ah. Okay, so that was more of a side thing, really, from what this looks like. So we just sort of know what's happened here. Anyway, back to Becca, I suppose. Return to Becca one last time, by the way, let's... Grab a bit of onion. Yes, thanks game. Thank you for telling me about points. I right, still need to defeat a slot, but we're going to carry on with... With, uh... A return to Becca. I mean, I could I could have just, um... Could have just fast travelled, but... Didn't want to. Anyway, there's a plain stone. See, all these, all these things... I can... With this merchant, I can just sell these. Uh, sell the loot. Gives us a little bit. Whoops. Excuse me. Sell and quit. There we go. Still needing a lot of stuff for. So we need a domestic bug. Nearly getting there with those. Want the Prophemidas, but that's going to happen. Probably a lot later on in the game. 
Is there anything we can upgrade here? Let's just have a look. Let's have a look. No, we're missing, missing a lot of tin ore. What about armors though? Oh, yeah, we can. Let's enhance that. It's a silver breastplate plus. Hey, and a doublet. We can enhance that as well. Can't enhance a raven cloak. I don't know why a cloak needs tin ore, but we'll do it. Anyway, while we're here, we can do it again. Dog. Right, you. Becca, where have you gone? Actually, where have you? Oh, you'll be at your, your wedding, won't you? Line of the day. We're just having that now. Line of the day. We don't give a shit. You fucked us, Becca. <laughs> uh. Yeah. He has a blabber mouth. Yeah, decent life. Well, you... No, oh, we'll go for a Glen response. Oh, we didn't realise about the two brigands on the side there. It's fine, we're good. Right, uh, I think getting in with some AoE or multi-target skills may be the idea. Though, that being said, this is also filled up our ultra move, so it's a, a boss fight? Oh, Becca's boy. Uh, so, like, for, for Glenn, we could probably use the power armor, uh, power armor salvo. Let's get it straight in. Break all their defenses. Twelve. Twelve. They are a little, um... Wrong. But, keep doing stuff like that. Oh, there we go, there's the agility buff. Yeah, let's... I mean, do we do this or do we poison one and pandemic him? Go for dots. I think that might be the idea, actually. Right, so let's go for poison shot. On Becca's boy in the back. Then next turn we'll pandemic him. Meanwhile, we'll kill. Uh, oh, mm, petal storms active. Where we can just like aim to destroy one of these, or at least make it a little bit more problematic for him. Uh, in fact, we could probably get rid of one of these at this point. Nearly had 369s there. That would have been triple nice, but no. Right, so there's the wide swing. And then Pandemic on the Bat Boy. There we go, now we're sorted. Just still take into account we need to keep an eye out on the overdrive meter. They all want Sienna, which is... I think. Right. Let's push slash this guy. And we could probably do with a tag out and a reduction of the overdrive meter. There we are. Right. Okay, we're done with him now, I think. Goodbye. Uh, good for now, so... 
There we go, we're left with one of Becca's boys. Now we're left with none of Becca's boys. Strong enough. Uh, no. Underground passage. Yeah. The Temple of the Purple Flame, that's ominous. Ruins in the north, okay. Yeah. With the whole temple. Exit Basil to the north, past the bridge, go to the west. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> good luck with your wedding. Good luck, Becca. Hey, we completed the quest, the path to uh, the path to Cortara. So we'll be heading there, but I want to head back towards the Terminator Caves. And we'll try and go for that hidden tree. And then we might be able to find the fighter sloth on the way and stuff like that. So let's go to our reward thing. We've completed the path to Cortara. There we go, 25 SP there, and our chain is now 8. Which actually means... Oh, we should be claiming those rewards. Right, there was... I didn't realise, I forgot that you had to claim them based on the chain. Right, so we've got a Grimoire Shard, which means we can level up. That's one good thing. Uh, the other good thing, we've got Sacred Water, which means we can get another class... Uh, class... Uh, emblem. So, let's... Let's skill up first. Right, so, Glenn. Start with Glenn. Where are we at the moment? Oil Slash hasn't really come up at the moment. Could I mean we still need to learn two skills? I feel we should HP by ten percent. I mean, honestly, I'm a couple of Grimoire shards off. I think of taking on the um, the Shishlak, the skewer, the kebab of the evil vegetables. The other thing is we can also come back as well. Uh, right. We weren't doing much in terms of poison. Yeah, we were just a little bit off on terms of health. So, you know what? We will learn HP up. And gain a whole bunch of other stats. Perfect. Right, for Len. Uh, we could either get the attack up or we could look at Flying Killer. I mean, that being said, all we face that are flying at the moment are box flies. But, I mean, they're still flying. Or we could just increase attack. Yeah, we'll do that. Which is fine. And then for Killian... Again, it's only a 5% chance. It's not, you know, massively a thing. Uh, so we will actually increase HP by 10. 13, I suppose. That'd be fine. Uh, for Victor... We'll actually raise his defense up. Or we'll get that passive on for now. For Rob, Beast Killer. Would work a bit more around here. And for Sienna... Um, Rit up, I think, as a passive. We'll make sure they're all set. A little bit for it, where are we? Oh, passive skills, right? That'd be... Yep, there, they're fine. TP up. Uh, attack up, yes. Defense up. Yep, so they're all set. Perfect, right. So that's the first thing we want to do. Second thing, we want to explore that tree. Third thing, we want to get the, the class emblem. So tree is there, uh, not the tree, the statue is here. We had the sacred water the whole time, we just didn't do it. Right, let's go for it. See if we can earn this. 
thing. So I greet you, adventurers of Valandis. My voice echoing through thy heart shall bestow upon thee the power of ages long gone by. Yep. Prove ourselves worthy, now shall we receive the gift. Let's certainly try and prove ourselves worthy. Oh! It is. Four slaughters. Right. Let's start with a poetic march then. Let's get in, I think, with the ultra move in immediately. Let's do it. 175s, 176 for the bottom. Sloss. Okay. There's a lot of. Oh dear, there is a lot of attack going on. On. Bengi. These are quite defensive. Uh, I think first thing we want to do is. Just pandemic would be nice. We need to start. and get a helping hand onto Victor so we can at least last until there's a fight tail okay we're good we're good right now it's over to Sienna yeah there's another fight tail to really prepare not to overheat here which we're going to overheat next turn we should be fine though yeah there it is right pandemic on the slaws though there we go right they're all poisoned perfect and then I think a heal all Oh, just went into overheat just at the wrong time. Uh... Right. We've, got... We've got rid of one of the slosses. Which is perfect. Oh, wind kick. Alright. Uh, should we lend energy to there just so we can try and reduce the bar? Just. Right. Yes, just to. Does this would this just extend poison? Yeah, it would. So if we've got counter agility buff, we'll go for another heal all. So we're down to three slaughters. Let's use a pelt storm and hope to get rid of another one. Nope. Oh, balls. It's fine. We're down to two slosses now. Pain shouldn't be too... Yeah, the pain is too much. Uh, let's tag out. Bam. Tag out again. Uh, tag plus a. Ow! Oh. Ah. Right. Wide swing. Oh! Oh dear. Uh... We're fine. We're good. We're good. It's all good. Wow, there we are. Just hanging in in terms of the overdrive, no. Switch back. Oh, oh, Killian. You're fine, you can get back up now, mate. <laughs> we got what we need, though. Yeah, mastered the challenge. Madrim the warrior. Hey. 
got ourselves a new class top new class emblem. Which Oh look at this, so Sloss is defeated. And we got a class emblem. We need to explore most of the area and then we can increase the chain again. Which would be cool. Right, so with that actually. Class emblem of warrior. We go on to Glen. And then what class skills does he get now? Power Pierce and Power Swing. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Like it. These cross slash is taking ages to level up though. But yeah, if we can get those leveled up, that is going to be very, very nice. And would actually probably help us against that kebab. <laughs> right, so we've explored that now. So we need to head back towards uh, Rolling Fields. So there, head towards the Terminator Caves and try and find that tree, I think. That might be the, the plan. And then we'll head up and go. Hey, we found the 10 collectibles. Perfect, right. Uh, hello, our chain is now 13. We got another sacred water at 16. We find the Fioran couple. That might be a thing as well. And we did some organ grottos stuff. I wonder if that or if this leads us to the rest of the grottos. Anyway, here's a box fly. Wham! Right, I want to see what this. I want to see what this power swing does. Forty-five TP. No, not power swing. Power pierce. Thirty-five TP. <laughs> Wham. Oh yes. Now I am feeling a little bit more. I did say follow the coastline around, but. We in a pool of water. Clearly not. No, we definitely need to go over the other side, don't we? Yeah. It's, it's time for a little adventure. That's that's what it's going to be. You know. Collectible. And I'm probably going the wrong way, but you know. Oh, there's a tree. there. No, that's not it, is it? This is why we're having the adventure. Collectible. Oh, we've got a box fly and a pig. Piggy. Uh, pressure point on the box fly, I think. Bam! Yeah, power pierce the big ear. Big ear, even. Ooh. There you go. Get rid. Whack the box flow. Well, don't worry about it. We're not hitting physical. Right. No, that's the Terminator Caves itself. I mean, this big pool of water. <laughs> Chest. How did I not see this before? Collectible. Hey, domestic bug, we need that. Right, so it's behind this tree. There we are. Cave. 112 arc. Very nice. Right, so we found. Yeah, we've we found our thing. So, I think with that, let's open the teleport menu. Go back to Roland Fields. 
head back to Basil. And I'm just going to do a quick thing. It just means I'm going to go off camera for a second. Just want to check something. Something important. Right. Just wanted to check the electricity meter, make sure that the uh, the power wasn't going to go out due to lack of funds. We're good. It's payday only a couple of days ago, but you know. Right. Let's do this then. So, first thing I want to do is head back to the merchant. Sell our our loot and there we are dot for everyone who hates dots on your character anti dots and that gives us 10 anti no anti dot not anti dots anti dotte so you know right oh oh hello Single piece of recruitment. Repair 3 gives us a Sparda Repairer. And we bought three deals. Which means. Blame that. Our chain is now 14. Getting closer. So, that'll be good. Still need to find hidden caves. And win an encounter against crabs with only Glenn. Now that we've actually got that warrior emblem, things might be a bit more. It's just there we are, great sword, a spada repair. Look at that, it's a three star uh, thingy, a bop. That's the point, though. Can that mean we can upgrade it, though? No, we need thick hide. Well, plenty of iron ore, but we need thick hide. Probably not. Let's just have a look at speaking of that actually. Hey, attack up three. Go on then. Let's enhance it for now. What else can we look at? Any No nah, with Fairy wing. Right, so with that, let's save again. So we're going north of Basil. Not going there. It's where the carrot is. I'm not ready yet. We'll come back to it. Continue exploring here. Hey, fine wool. Perfect. Dirty wool. Not so perfect. So, we found everything there. We know where we're going in order to do the thing. Keeping an eye out for caves while we're here as well. Oh, hi. Hey, ow. Who the hell is... Oh no, that's leaping the frog. Uh oh. Well, what's 40 damage like? Nope, that's not good. That's not good, that's not good. Uh. He has weakness to. Yeah, does have weakness to. No, why am I attacking? Didn't mean to do that. Because look how little damage he's dealing. No, I don't want. No. I mean, I could escape, but. Give it a try, right? Arm to break the frog. Oh, it gets two turns. Ow. Ow. It's alright though, we can heal all. Do 
fair, is don't break the frog. Oh, well, I have to break the frog. At 69. It is taking damage. Ooh, 234. Right, uh, nope. I want to switch. Exact slash, let's just get, like, dots on it. And water, uh oh, oh dear. Okay, that may be a problem. I'm gonna use an angel wing on Rob. Right, revived. Uh, heal everyone. Pierce it again. Bam. 200. And 75 from by the time all that happens. Right. Uh, I think... It's still poisoned, isn't it? For another turn. You know what? Black. Don't use water again. Find a kid up. Nope. Whoa! No, oh, I thought he had one. That's unfortunate. Uh, right, get back up, Rob. What can we do to this? Yeah, hold on. Click, click, click. Bam. Heal all again. That's right, hit. Yeah, hit, hit Killian. That, that's fine. Right, now you can tag out. So we to Earth. That's a shame. Oh. Whack. Hey, hold on. Can Sienna actually not have to... Can't steal from it. Uh, oh, he counts as a dragon. Interesting. Right, switch over. Nope. Earth drums. Whack. Goodbye, Leaping the Frog. You unique... Annoyance. Hey, the chain is now 15 long. Hey, we're getting 50 SP out of that. That means we should be getting close to being able to level up a skill. Ooh. Yeah. Or we could wait. Level up power pace. That might be... That might be the way to go. We'll wait. Well, for Glenn, anyway. What should I look at for others? Water Thrust. Okay, that's a level 2. Yeah, let's do it. Then for Killian. I think heal all. I should have been using Awakened Spirit, but eh. Could heal all. And it costs less. Yes, let's do. Um, for Victor, who's got 300 odd points, why have I not been leveling his stuff? Poetic March increased, and then we'll work on one of his other skills later. Uh, Rob, get Power Shot leveled up. And for Sienna, uh, Counter Agility up. Could just sort that out like that. There we go. Right. Now that I accidentally took out a unique monster. I only the cost of a couple of angel wings, which I'm sure we could just get the money back for that quite easily. Right. Okay, we've got enough domestic bug. Okay, so we have a... Let me just... 
just quickly check something here. Oh, it's this way. Just keeping an eye out and seeing if there was any treasure chests. There's certainly not a treasure chest there. Got a horn though. Let's keep keep around this way for now. Oops. Crystals. Seeing if there's any hidden bags here, it doesn't look like it. Right, that's the door to the ruins. We're not gonna go there yet. I want to explore the area first. Whoops, that's the map, right? You should know that by now. So that arrow, or those arrows, look like they went the wrong way. So there's another arrow leading this way. Hey, signpost. It's a capitalist mushroom. No secret. Buried item there. Oh. There could be one up here. I don't want to touch you. You killed us last time. Bad seed. Pretending you're a sparkly item. Provided me a single skill point. Right. Hold on. Just check. And then there's up here. That doesn't intersect with anything. So, that would suggest to me there isn't a, an item there. Oh, you know what? Let's just fight the damn thing. It's going to be in the way otherwise. Venus flytrap looking. Start with a poetic march. They're too stronger than last time. Yeah, there's your seedlings. Whack. Goodbye, seedlings. I will pierce the saliva. Ooh, 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 love it. Whack. No, wait. What do you mean counter? Ow, 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 ow. That's just awful. Uh, do we have any items that can just... Like, restore everyone's... No. Okay. Uh, so it is going to kill one of us this turn. You know what I'll do on that? Make sure at least one of us is alive. Oh, it summons more seedlings. That's, I think, actually. You have another power pit. Goodbye, saliva. We're good. It's fine. our 1SP. Uh, so where could our item be? Moving on to the next screen, because there we go, we've explored most of the area now. So the chain is now 17 long, which means we're taking up a sacred water. Perfect. There's some crabs over here. Something over there. Right, now let's actually carry on with the, the story. Like I say, we can unlock more stuff as we go. Hey, crab. At least we won't have to be taking on Leaping the Frog again anytime soon. Right, hold on. 
just have a look at those? Where do the arrows... Hold on, while we're here. Where do the arrows for them? See, those arrows can only intersect over here, surely. No. You can't, there must be another... There must be another set of arrows because they don't line up. Now we're gonna get in that cave. It's fine, right. Let's go explore. Oops, wrong way. Keep getting money. Bitter onions. Be some bitter vegetables later on, I will tell you. Might try and fight them a little bit later on as well. Okay, we're in the Purple Flame Temple. Yeah? Thanks, Sienna. Yes, my fear that it was actually going to be a Purple Flame Temple and the, the flames were going to be green. Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, Killian. At that point, I feel I would have needed to learn Undead Killer. Yeah, she's not happy. Right, oh, finished quest. Oh, we... Right, yes. Pass through the temple. Well, he's got an antidote on him. That one's got 25 arc on him. Yep, there's the undead. The weakness is light, of course. Now, does a zombie bleed? Well, yeah. Oh, oh they are stronger. In fact, I mean, do they? Do they? Do they? Can they get poisoned? Yeah, they can. Alright, perfect. Whack. Uh, power pierce. Just need to... Start reducing its health a little bit. Ow. Painful. Alright. Can we steal from a zombie? No. Okay. Uh... Shoots the skills. Yeah, have a power shot. And should be dead between the two attacks. Oh, there's another power pierce. Oh, lovely, lovely bit of zombie flesh. Right, this is going to be a fun place to explore. So uh, I'll do that after a break. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes, and then uh, we'll keep exploring a temple full of undead, I suppose. See you in a minute.
Okay. Get back into this. Got stuff I want to explore and make explode. And stuff that we need to continue to skill up, speaking of. Uh... No, we're a couple of combats away from being able to level up Power Pierce or Power Swing. So, we'll keep going with that. Got a snack. Clearly, this dead end right here. Bam! No? Alright. I honestly thought he was going to attack us there. And into a cave. Parashroom. If we hit them in battle, they can paralyze the enemy. So that means we could engage... Oh, environmental... Attacks? Uh, let's just keep on looking where we are. Hey! So yeah, so we can do that. So we could... I'm going to Poetic March first anyway. And then... On Len's turn, I could just attack the Parish Room. Oh, well, they're still... Fair enough. Whoops, didn't mean to defend. Oh, that was a waste of a turn. It's fine, we're still... It's all good. It's fine. Uh... Alright, now it's paralysed. Okay. Don't need to lend energy. Let's just keep with the power swings. Flash bite. Oh. Oh. How cheeky of you. Alright, let's go for a heal. Attacking these zombies, actually. Thinking though, a switch out. Start just try to reduce their numbers. Right there we go. Not happy that we're just carrying, you know, zombie flesh around. Point in pilfering, we can't. We can't steal, so. Unlike OCs that people do steal, we can. I mean, I could hit it with pandemic, but that's a waste, it's going down. Like that. Right. Some zombie flesh. Gain 2 SP, which means we can now look at. A skill upgrade. I think power pierce is just going to have to happen. 1.8 times damage to 2.2 times damage. Like, yes. Armor break and lend energy can just level naturally. Cross slash is just way too far out of our scope. So that's just that. Uh, as for Victor, he can level up exactly one skill. I think I'm going to keep hold of him, keep hold of him at the moment. Because we're taking on a bunch of zombies which are not... There's no elements to even consider on at the moment, so... It's just a dead end, alright. Hi, plant. And we're back in the ruins. You're not streaming, not streaming jump up on us just yet. That's a point. Game's auto-saved. I'm going to save. I mean, look. That's actually a lot more in there than I thought. Stuff just... Hi, are you in it? No? Okay. Alright, where should we start? Let's explore... <laughs> it's a ghost! Weakness to dark attacks, though, that we don't have. Uh, but we can steal from them, so that's... That's something. Alright, let's... 
Start getting into physical counter, physical resist. Really, is this what you're going to do to us? Ah, uh... oh, missed. Damn it. So this is going to hurt, isn't it? Unless... Ghostly Whisper. Ow, 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 ow. It's going to be magic skills that we're going to need to do, isn't it? Blow over a ghost. Never gonna dance again. Alright, try and steal from it again. Stop missing. Right. See, the problem is with these physical resist. Oh no, wait! Whoa, 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 what am I doing? Lens next turn. We know what we're doing now. the ghost, I suppose. I don't know if stuff like this is going to work. No, it's not. So... Whack. It's to a point that you don't have to fight every fight, right? Dead. Uh, did at least get rid of one ghost. Yay, we got a blanket. Waking then. Ta da! Oh, with nine health, that's. That's not gonna work. Okay. See, it's just going to be the missing, it's not going to be great. Just have to... Oh, not Ghostly Whisper again? Stop. There's no like, items here. Killian, have some sweets. Careful here, because we're going into we're going into overheat again in a second. Yeah, that's not fun. It's gonna hurt. Ha. Bam. Yep, there's the overheat again. Yes, keeping Victor alive is going to be the thing. Victor, stay alive. Overheat. Whack. Fine. We're good. Because... Back into overdrive. Pressure point. Bam. That might be a problem. That 
might be a very bad problem. Water. Yeah? Hold long enough for us to actually get through it. So this... Whoop. I guess what this means is that we just need to... Not faff around with... Up. Interesting. Wait. Do these counter the first type of attack that we deal to it? Which if we want to hit it... Yes. Right. Now we're learning. So we want to initially hit it with because we're dealing more physical attacks than we are magical attacks so it would make more sense to hit him with Physicals. Get out of it. Right. Oh, this makes much more sense. There we go. That's better. Petal I'm going to go into overheat soon enough. However, the fight's already over. Much better. There we go. So, oh, switches. Ah, I see. I get what we need to do now. So now we've done that side, we need to do the other side. And this will then get us through that door. Hello. So this place allowed me to light this place up since then more and more travelers visited these halls. Okay. Understood. Alright, so now we need to do this side. Ah, you're sparkly, you're a shiny ghost. Right, so again, we need to do what we want to do here, which is this has got bonus loot. Hit it with magic attacks to use magic resist. And I guess on this one we just attack the bottom ghost. Then wind thrust or thrust the other ghost. Now they're using magic. Perfect. Now we can get on with it. Bam. Switch out. Start using Yokogiri. Switch out. You can actually work on one. Uh, we'll use recall training just to keep the overdrive bar low. Oh, too low. Hey, that's fine. It means we can get rid of a uh, get rid of a ghost. Goodbye. Hey, we've got two sweets out of it. Sweet. If we win, of course. Okay, we can make a ghost bleed, everyone. Which means we could be able to make it poison as well. Yeah. Bam. Now we're learning how to beat the ghosts. 7 SP because of the bonus loot. Perfect. Still going to keep Victor's skills low. So now back in the cave. We want that chest over there. That'll give us some arc. 
Keep an eye out for secret rooms. That's... Oh, this is going to be... Oh, oh. It will be as we go back up, right? Yeah, there we are. Three zombies with a special... Fair enough. Right. Let's work on getting these zombies down with bonus loot. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, that's it. I know what I should be doing here. Here, yeah, parish room. Uh, so that'll get his turn and then everyone's paralysed. Perfect. What I am going to do is do that combo. Bam. Overdrive. Ow. Well, we're out of overdrive quickly enough. Which is fine. Stop. Oh, pain. Alright. You have a power swing, everyone. Ow. Flash bite. Pain. Pandemic on that zombie. And we're out of overdrive again, but everyone's poisoned. Tag out again, I suppose. Poetic march going. Uh, bam! Back into overdrive. Perfect. Power swing. Goodbye. And combat is done. 8 SP. Perfect. Right, so that sends us back in, but what's down here? Attack overdrive. And then in here. Oh. Ah. Okay, so that's just some rubble. So we go up the ladder, round, hit the switch, that takes us through, yeah? switch and the doors open so let's save now looking at our skill points <clears throat> Sienna's starting to get closer again Victor we're still keeping hold of just to do things so that's fine let's go There's definitely nothing in here for the Templars though no so, there's going to be a boss here, right? No? Okay. A boss here. Well, we've got some... Hi, zombies. And ghost. Right, first things first, then. There. You've done your magic resist counter. Bam. Switch out. Poison the ghost. Get ready for the pandemic. Uh, we're in overdrive already, aren't we? So, perfect, right. Oh no, ghostly whisper. Pain. Are we going? Oh, not a flash bite. Oh, poison. Oh, pain. Jesus. Come on. Heal everyone. Right, then. Pandemic on the ghost. Spread the poison. enemies should start getting ready to fall. Kabam! That's right, you do that. We'll just switch out here at this point now. One's dealing more... Oh, they're both dealing more damage, aren't they? Well, 
kind of. Uh, and then, you know what? Get out, get out. Got it, there's another three SP. So that was just a dead end for no reason whatsoever. Bam! Paralyze hit. Okay. So there now definitely seems to be a a guardian there. Hello. If I were you, I'd turn back immediately. It's very nice to other visitors. Well, oh, hey, another floor, I suppose. Da da da. We're trespassing. Oh, out go the lights. Oh, it's the souls of the damned. Hello. Right, so let me just have a look at the attack side. Now, Dream Eater is just a thing. We can steal from the Dream Eater. That's that's a thing. So I think we need to start getting like debuffs on this as quick as possible and buff ourselves. So let's whack it. Bang. Alright, you just, just imp slap, you know, then bam! Okay, uh, so we're on then. Let me just check. So there's no strengths and weaknesses, so it's not like it's something we should be using learn for. The third look at doing is poisoning the fool. Okay, and then tag out again. X slash him. Now bleeding and poisoned. And we are in overdrive, so let's get the power pierce going. Uh, we are good at the moment. Still stay in overdrive if we do, so actually. Pitch black darkness. Ah, hey. Alright. Um, I'm going to hold off using power shot at the moment. Let's try and steal from him. Silver breastplate. Yes. Power pierce again. Interruption. Twisting visions. What the? Uh oh. Right, now we do need to switch out. I'm going to heal everyone. It makes sense. We're going to need to, aren't we? Uh, water thrust this orb. Uh oh. Oh dear. That may have been a bad, bad thing. Water would be fire on there, so we can't really do much on this time. Yep. Can we Yoko Giri the. We can. This might be a problem. Okay, no, it's not frozen or anything. It's fine. I'm going to lend energy to Sienna. Sienna. Uh, so fire thrust on the spirit orb. Oh, that's just a normal orb, isn't it? TP heal. Oh! Oh, I like that. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. Right, let's petal storm the dream eater. 61. Alright. I will pierce the Dream Eater. Let's 
pitch black darkness again. Out paint. Alright, switch back out for Rob. Extend the poison. Killian will heal all. It's a little top up. I am then going to switch back out for that. Bring Poetic March back up. Bad move. So right, luckily we've got some sweets. What I could do on Victor's next turn is use his ultra. So Shabam. Uh, how are we doing now? We could do with healing still, couldn't we? Right, Victor's next move, Ultra move. Let's do it. Cosmos Orchestra. Oh. He's a one man band. Love it. Okay, alright, we're back in now. Actually, going to Armor Break the Dream Eater. Interruption. Oh. Summoning orbs. HP regen and that. What the hell? Right. Bam. Uh, we're not bad on that bit, so maybe another healing goal. There's a parish room over there. I'm going to reuse that, and then I think, yeah, let's do it. There's a reason it's there, that we need to be dealing help. Okay, so I understand what we need to do there then. Ah. Uh. Poison. Oh, no, 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 that was bad, that was bad. Whack. There's the TP heal. And then here comes the, oh, no, blow up. Perfect, fair enough. Right. Let's make it bleed again. We need, now need to, we're a bit backwards on the the dealing damage to it business. I and mean, it could cleanse it, to be honest. How many more turns has it got for HP regen? Three. Yes, let's do it actually. No HP regen for you. Oh, there's the blow. Helping hand straight on Len. Right. Uh Kiri is not really a thing that we should be doing, is it? Let's top up the offensive buff again. Let's just start. Uh, dealing lots of damage to it again. There's Pitch Black Darkness. Right, now it doesn't have anything on it, so now we can head back. Power shots going. Heal everyone. Get another armor break on it. Interruption. And we're back. Covered in shadows. Ah, uh, HP regen again. Right. Got it. Uh, I think Rob would be the one that would need to hit the thing, but I don't know what we will do, we will just... Ah, 
Petal Storm's active, which is perfect. I'm not going to hit it with pa uh, Pandemic again, because that was bad. What we'll do is, I think, yeah, re-poison the Dream Eater. Should have cleansed. It's fine, we're good, we're good. Okay. Gioko Giri again. Right, so. There's the blow up. That's the pain. Then here's the TP heal, which gets her back into it. Uh. I'll it again. Swap Rob out. Cleanse the HP regen. Still bleeding for a turn, let's extend that. We should keep an eye on our uh, our overdrive meter here, actually. That's... Oh, we've got another ultra move now as well. So I think next time we've got Sienna, we can not worry about it because we just beat it. SP and a Grimoire Shard. Right, let's successfully let's learn some more skills then. One more skill. I think we will bring out some more HP. Oh wow, and now it just adds to the to the thing. Perfect, look at this. Decoy. Strain. Oh, we've got a move that just its function is to lower the overdrive meter. Nice. Arms break, though. That's sounds like a cool one. Uh, for Len... You know what? We will set up Flying Killer. I mean, to be honest, if it levels up, you know what? We'll learn it. And then leveling it up might increase the chance. Well, in fact, it's probably going to increase the chance, isn't it? Uh, for Victor, you know what, mind up. I'll do that. For Rob. Explosion trap. Oh! That's an interesting one. Well, we will actually level up the uh, health points. For Sienna. Should have really had Undead Killer the entire time, but you know what, it's there. For that, Kizagiri. Deals to one. So, yeah, she would need really a bunch of skills that would trigger Petal Storm. I mean, it looks like they all do. But it's then just determining which one's the best one to use, given the situation. Right. So I think it's best we save. <laughs> yeah, being we just beat a boss and all. Attack, light attack. Whatever. Uh, weapons. Can we do any upgrading? Can. Why not? Oh, finally upgrade that bow. You can upgrade it twice. I mean, this is all after we've done the fight. <laughs> but, you know what? It's fine, it works. Uh, no. No. Okay. Namas? Well, actually, now that we've got that. Let's sort out of the party's skills. Yeah, look, the new silver breastplate now. So that would more likely be the idea to look at. No, we can't upgrade the silver breastplate. What are we doing? We can upgrade that though. <laughs> Any more? Yeah. 
you go, Rob. Have a have an upgrade. Alright, and then So we're still going round here, this Ooh. an event of some sort. What's up, Glenn? Yeah. So I'm guessing something's happened with Glenn, which means, uh, you know. Oh, and this is the how we all met up. Yeah. Face <laughs> meddling. Ah, oh, well. She pulled a brave. Very liberal attitude. Hey, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, the truth that a demon attacked the place. Oh, hi, Rob. Oh, good, thank you. Riamir. Going through a year in the woods as rangers. Tradition. Uh. Right. So his tradition is atypical of his traditional background. Well... Was. Yeah, that was them. What were the greatest? The best around. Fortunate. The right hand of a dead man and a pilot without a sky armor. No, that's true. It's a story for another campfire. <laughs> Damn. No, we know that really they were looking around to find. Um, they were looking around to try and find why. The grimoire exploded the way it did. So, this now takes us out of the mountains. We've stepped into Cortara. Ta da! So we now have a fast travel point. Which should, on our reward board. Oh, yeah, it has. Ta-da! Okay. So we've got into the Cortara mountain range. Got ourselves 5 SP. Got a horn. I think now I do feel comfortable on upgrading a skill for, for Victor. We will go with... Get out here. It was very deserty. Pressure point. And then we can hold off and then level up the other stuff as we go. So. Yes, we have some time to explore. Hey, merchant. How about we sell our loot? Will that help you? Probably not. New deals have been unlocked. What have we got here? Robe 3? Sure. That gives us a shimmering garb. And nothing else at this particular time. Okay. 
picchio Oh, the glaive is stronger yeah, Kind of And the longbow is equal, but upon upgrading it should be thing. Right, you know what? We'll we'll stick with. Oh, hold on. Maybe do that. No. So that is a straight upgrade. Uh, one. So, so Bokken, no claymore is a straight upgrade. Clave is an upgrade actually. So we will buy them. And there we go. What we can do is look and see what it requires to upgrade stuff from there. Right, and there is no way down anywhere, so this is just an exploration for that exploration's sake. Right, now. So we came out of there. I guess time to just explore and see what's around, right? I do want to, before we finish the stream, I do want to take on the, um, the what's it called again? Look! Hi. So, yes, see, there we are. You've got bonus loot. Sweet. Bam. Wham. They are also a little... Giga drill. Oh, what the? All right, calm down. Boom. All right, let's also let's let's pilfer from the horn lizard. Weathered bone, perfect. Bam. Pain. All right, you know what? Get rid of you. Heal everyone. Really heal is oh no that that did do more. Right, pilfer from this lizard. Damn, I missed. We can try again. Yeah, we can try again. That's fine. Come on, Sienna, go again. Got ya. Seven SP. Things are getting better. It's a finger giving wing. Don't give me the finger. Is that what happens when a bird flips? Uh, so down this way, right? This takes us up to where we uh, just wander straight into into a fight. Right, and that works. Everyone have a poetic march. Then we'll get. I think with three of them, we want to just just get into this. I think so. Poison. Our swing. Let's just get the damage going. No, not a kicker. Staggered, which means he needs to switch out anyway. So, I'll take a heal. Uh, get some damage going. Leave Rob alone. Right, pandemic on that lizard. Power swing. Oh, 
Oh, leave him alone. Like, really? Wide swing. And... This should just cause some damage? Nope. You're still alive. Oh, no, you're not. Not anymore, you're not. Right. Switch out. Frost. And finish the fight. We got a horn. So, some crystals. Sylph armlet. Okay. It's an accessory that provides two agility. Come on, get on. Perfect, and we found everything we can from there. Oh, that's one way. It's fine. It's all good. I guess while we're here, uh, might as well keep topped up on selling the loot. <laughs> oh, dear me. New deals. Sword 3. Here we are. Oh, it's a cope. It's a cope. We've already got a cope. Anyway, <laughs> that's fine. It means I guess what we could could do later on is just sell doubles of weapons. All right, we've got a bloody compass, and we found five collectibles. So, boom! Five SP, five silver ore. That's great. Need ten mountain bibby. Find three hidden caves. And when an encounter against a, a Medusa, Medusa and Vipers, without using any skills, that'd be fun. Goldy waterfly. Oh dear. Right. Anyway, let's explore. Bob, well, keep exploring. We've got ten minutes left. Maybe I won't be fighting the. Uh... Oh yeah, the canyon is huge. By the Dentist River. Alright. Uh, up here. Big hide. Adamantis. All the crystals around here. I have to say. Ah, there are those vipers. They got derpy looking eyes. <laughs> hey. Oh, this is where we would have needed Dragon Killer, but. Eh. Should we just see what we can steal from him? I'll try and steal from him. Sterile mucus. Lovely. Right. Bam. They are looking kind of tough. Probably change that. To be fair, I only just stole them from it, didn't I? That's... Oh, I know we just got into overdrive, but... Oh! Body slam. Oh! Hey, hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, I guess we're done there. Alright, uh... Bam. Oh, I should have just used the ultra move. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. In fact, actually, let's just find... Your? Hey, TP saved. Alright, you know what, fair enough. Right. You did, yes. That's overdrive, ow. Ow. We're good, we're good, we're good. Shot. Not messing around no more. Uh, helping hand Rob. Oh, 
Whack. Oh, that's a bunch of slime. Oh, we're good, we're good. Bam. Boom. Without using any skills. How dare. So how are we doing for skill points, by the way? We're good. Oh, I'd love to see where that's heading, but, you know. We still need to find the buried treasures in Roland Fields. Collectible, collectible. I'll just leave them, they're sleeping. Wasn't intentional, but... Wolf Overdrive. You know what, actually, before we... No, because otherwise... No, we're here, we need to find... I have to find somewhere I'll save the game here. It's just going to be how that is. Right, Poetic March, go. Ow. Ow. Straight into the power swing. Straight into overdrive, alright. Oh, we need to heal. Out of overdrive we go. Ow. Bang. Oh, not kick a drill. Pain. Bam. Go down to two enemies. There's a little bit of a heal. And wind thrust on that lizard. Alright, okay, well, out you go. Bam bam. I'll swing then. Wing thrust. And. Open hand. There. Oh, the kick of hell. Missed, thank god. Yokogiri. Bam bam. Okay, we should be fine now. Everything should be great. Heal yourself. Pain. Get out of here. It's a bit too late for Pellstorm to be active. But that's just going to be how it is. Right. I think at this point we're going to just look at where we are on our skills. And then wrap this up for this morning. So we could level up Awakened Spirit. But at this point, it's also just going to level up on its own. I think it's just too close. It's too close at this point now, so we'll just leave it. So, recall training, helping hand, actually. We should probably level up sooner rather than later. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, let's level up helping hand now. Victor's at 79, that's not going to do our heart rub 68. Sienna. Uh, again, these, these could just level up on their own, but I want more use of it now. Maybe turning X slash into a 6 turn bleed would be the way to go. So we will. And then that's that's everyone on there. So, yeah, we've made it through a temple. We've, you know, resolved some stuff. Our reward board is looking slightly more bigger. 
Ah, the colour coded. Ah, that's even better. I just realised on the colour coded stuff. We still need to beat Salivas and find hidden caves and complete the quest of Goblin's Dilemma, you know, all this stuff in there. But that is for tomorrow. So, I'm going to save on there and wrap this up. Uh, so if anyone's come in and watched and lurked or even had a look at what was going on. Cheers. Appreciate it. Um, still looking for the bar to fill for the followers for uh, before New Year. If we can get that bar to 100 for follows. We'll start off next year with 12 Hours 1 Idiot, where we'll be playing Sonic Adventure to try and get as many of the 130 emblems in one go. That'll be hilarious. We also have the YouTube at, uh, wow, at Immaterial Gamers YT. We can get to 100 subs on that. Duncan, Canadian troop, will do an even more ridiculous challenge 12 Hours of Sonic Adventure 2 and trying to get 180 emblems. He didn't think it through, like I didn't. And then Steph put us on the idea, if we hit 150 on both the Twitch and the YouTube, uh, Sonic 06 for 12 hours, two idiots. Don't know how we make it work, but we'll find a way. And we will do it. No get out clauses for beating that in 12 hours, it's just play 12 hours. Because we don't know what to do with ourselves. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Right, gonna take this down, or take the stream down for now. And later on tonight, play session will be around the last, probably one of the last ones of the year. We'll see what we play from there. Last last week we played Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, and uh, played Name That Tune. That tune was Kaboom. So, yeah. Right, anyway, catch us later. Have a good Friday on Christmas Eve Eve. We'll see you tonight.